Today we're going to take a quick look at this little airbrush kit I got. Really handy for 3D printing and doing small models and stuff for basically any hobby project. I'll test it out and see how it works. Okay, this is the new airbrush kit I got from Amazon. You saw in a previous post bag. I wanted this just so I could play around with kind of fixing up some of my 3D prints and whatnot, make them a little higher quality. So what we got here is a nifty little self-contained compressor system. Rather than a big tanked compressor, this is a tankless system. And it's just an on-demand. And admittedly, I know they're not going to be as good as having a tank, but so much quieter, so much smaller, and so much cheaper. This was under 100 Canadian dollars. Comes with a nifty little uh, filter and moisture trap. Uh, mainly just moisture trap, I assume. And I'm guessing probably a power supply. Please say you're North America. Yep, we're good. And a little hanger for the nozzle. On top of this, I also purchased one of these. It's been years since I've airbrushed, so I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm willing to learn. This is an airbrush cleaning pot. So basically, inside should be some hangers. Ah, uh, a needle for nozzle cleaning. That's nice. Some cleaning brushes. And the pot itself. Actually, there's the brushes. Those ones are actually more like a reamer. And the pot will, oh, that's nice, actually. I'm impressed. The pot will allow me to spray uh, excess paint when I'm clearing out or switching between paints into, into the glass vessel here. And it has an air filter to stop the, the condensate, the, uh, the particulate from the paint to fly around the room. So you just stick the nozzle in here and spray it out and clean it up. And then at the end of the night, you can dump the, dump the jar. This is really, really heavy glass. That's actually way better than I expected, but it should do the job. It's a nice little addition. I never had that years ago when I played with the uh, uh, airbrushes way back when I was younger, but I think it'd be nice to have now. In the airbrush kit, we have kind of the same, the same kind of, I don't know what the term for these is. It's like a reamer of sorts, but then a soft brush and then the, the needle for cleaning the nozzle. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this and get it up and going and maybe play with it a little bit. We'll see how it works. Forgot to show the most important part. This is the airbrush itself. Came nicely shrink wrapped. Not that it needed to be, but it seems to be the popular thing to do nowadays. To do fancy boxes, it's got like a leatherette finish on it. And inside should be, it's branded as a go cheer. I don't know what that means, but I think it's basically the cheapest knockoff possible. The price point of this was very reasonable, but the Amazon reviews were incredibly good. So this is where our paint goes. Push down for air, pull back for paint, if I remember right. Airline in, disassemblable, disassembling from the rear, and our cap comes off, and that's where our paint goes. So, nothing to it. Pretty standard stuff, nothing too crazy. I think we should be able to make that work. Very nice, I like the finish on it. It's The fit and finish of this is already impressive. I think it's going to work out pretty good, but we'll give it a try. Okay, I've definitely lost most of my skills, but I'm getting the hang of it. We've got the airbrush set up, and I've just got some thinned out acrylic dollar store paint in here. And I'm trying to give this Cassini satellite a little bit of a going over. And I've done a light gold coat in the middle. I'm kind of struggling with this paint. It's definitely gobby, but we can kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing here. I'm just feeding some air and feeding some paint. And then we should be able to get the front of that antenna to be black. And just sort of, well, the experienced airbrushers out there are gonna 
call me out on that. It's pretty bad, but uh, it's it's working. It's it's only operator skill, and well, these paints aren't exactly the best, but there we go. You see, we're getting it. That's kind of neat. So I'm going to go over and give some highlights and some details and I have no idea what I'm doing. I am no expert, but ultimately we're going to end up with a little Cassini satellite here that's going to look kind of neat. That's, that's pretty darn cool. I'm really happy about that. So I'm going to go ahead and give this thing some more going over. I'm going to do some shadow details and then hit it with some more gold and yeah, I don't know. I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but I'll throw an overlay at the end and throw a little bit of a little footage in there. You guys can tell me. Overall, I'm liking this airbrush. It's it's working really, really well. It's really, really simple. Uh, you just press the button and it fires up on demand. It's supposed to be like 25 PSI. I don't think it's that, but what the heck it's good enough and i'm using the absolute cheapest garbage paint thinned out uh, i thinned it out with windex the first time this one i just thinned with water this time and it seems to be performing better but i'm just gonna have to play it by ear windex is the kind of the the go-to standard for thinning them out for people who don't want to pay for thinner for acrylic paints but yeah there you go that's what we've got so far it's uh, it's coming along that actually looks pretty neat that almost looks like something. I don't know what, but you guys tell me. If you dislike this video, click a thumbs down. If you like it, consider hitting a thumbs up. Support me on Patreon down below if you like what I'm doing here. Some rewards and giveaways and stuff coming your way. See you guys next video.